Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial, lesson 21. In this lesson, we are going to talk about multidimensional arrays, how declaring, accessing, and iterating them in Golang. Let's get started. A multidimensional array is an array with more than one level or dimension. For example, a two-dimensional array is an array of arrays, meaning a matrix of rows and columns. A 3D array adds another dimension, meaning an array of arrays of arrays. To declare a two-dimensional array, a matrix, we need to specify the following properties. The size of the row, meaning the number of rows in the matrix, the size of column, number of columns in the matrix, the type, what type of element it's old, integer, string, or whatever, and the content. We can assign it element at the creation or later. Here is the syntax, where the x denotes the number of rows, the y denotes the number of columns, and the l and all the l 1, 1, 1, 2, etc. denotes an element present at row A and column J. The same idea can be extended to three dimension, four dimension, and so on. Let's write a more real example of how to declare a matrix. We define a variable matrix as a two-dimensional array of integers with uh, two rows and three columns. We then initialize it with the value 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 5, and 6 using array literals. To print the content of the matrix to the console, we use the fmt.println function, puffing the entire matrix as argument. This will output the entire two-dimensional array in the console in a readable format. Let's try our code. Open the terminal and type go run main.go. As, as we can see the terminal, the entire matrix. Let's write another example on how to access a matrix. We are going to change some values inside the matrix. We change the first value of the matrix, position, row 0 and column 0. And the la latest value, row 1 and column 2. Instead of the value 1, we put 10. We then print the matrix after the update. Let's write our code. Go run main.go. In the console, we can see the matrix before the update and then the matrix after the update, where the value is not anymore 1 in position 0, 0, but 10, and the latest one is not anymore 6, but minus 1. Until now, we've printed in the console the entire matrix with the function fmt.println, passing the entire matrix. In the code that we will write, we iterate each element of the matrix, printing the position and the value of each element in the console. We use the range loop to iterate each row of the matrix, and inside the first range loop, we define another range loop to iterate each column. We then print the value using the fmt printf function. We are going to define the element, the row, the column, and then the value.
Let's try the code. Perfect, in the console we can see all the element and we printed in the console the matrix iterated for each element inside the matrix. Now let's refactor our code in order to print also the matrix updated. We define a new function called print matrix and we put inside the code the code that we wrote previously. Much better like this. We then use the print matrix function inside the main function to print in the console each element of the matrix before and after the update. Let's try our code. Go run main.go. Perfect. In this tutorial, we have completed exploring the world of multi dimensional arrays. We have learned how to declare, inspecting, and accessing a matrix element. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next video tutorial. Bye.